Let's bring in our golf analyst Ian Leggett and Ian Rory McIlroy taking that six shot lead into the final round on Sunday. He looked so calm on Saturday. What has changed for him? Well, he's gotten over the Friday blues of that scoring average, almost 73 in the second round. That was a big mental hurdle for him. He has struggled with his game as of late, but we have seen flashes of brilliance. And I think that comfort zone that he's talking about, that inner peace, is coming along with getting used to that equipment that he changed to. Well, Tiger Woods changed to that equipment a long time ago. He's at three over headed into that final round. But his first major since the back surgery is the reason for optimism with him. I think so. you got to remember that this guy took three months to recover from a surgery that took Graham Dillette a year. But the one thing we got to pay attention to, and we could put Tiger Woods maybe in this conversation, but there is a new era in the game of golf, a changing of the guard, if you call it, with Rory McIlroy, Adam Scott, Martin Keimer, and Justin Rose. Let's see what happens over the next couple years. Now, Ricky Fowler going to play in that final group on Sunday with Rory McIlroy. Not the first time they played together, though. Back in 2007 at the Walker Cup as 18-year-olds. There they are playing alongside each other. Look about the same, I'd say. I think we've all aged a little bit. But nobody's been better this year, Ian, in the majors than Ricky Fowler. What do we make of that? Well, I think he's coming into his own. I mean, we got to look at this kid. People look at him as one of the best players in the world. The guy's won one golf tournament. He's performing great in the majors, but Ricky Fowler won't be happy until he wins a major, and his career won't be justified unless he adds something like that to his resume. We're always happy when we see you. He is Sportsnet's Ian Leggett.